With every networking event, we are inviting three business owners or people very involved within the businesses they work in to come and present their stories. We want to know how did they get started. I mean, it's very hard to start a business. We all know that, especially in our valley. We want to know how did you get started? Where are you now? And what can they do for you? Where on my yellow brick road was I going to find the like-minded people? And I thought, hmm, Aspen, you're no different. You're brilliant people. You're filled with the arts. You love the arts. You love the nature. You love being outdoors. You're health conscious. And I thought, you know what? These are like-minded people. Like, you meet someone, you get to know them. If you're open enough to ask questions about who they are, you find out that you have a connection and there's a really good way to like start working together, you know? And there's always opportunity in anything. Just being able to look at everybody the same way has kept me uh, very humbled, but at the same time, like, I, I've been able to move forward. So I just look forward to meeting people, knowing what they grew up with. And so now I do cooking classes for adults at the CMC down in Glenwood. I do planting seeds, kids cooking camp. Um, you know, I'm starting to do a lot of demos this summer, so, you know, someone may not want to necessarily pick up a knife because they might already know how to cook, but they'll learn something. I learned, like, how to be accessible in this town, how to push the envelope, and I feel like I've been kind of given the permission by the general public to push the envelope, where a lot of restaurants in this town, I think, are more mainstay style, <laughs> but we're always driving and creatively and pushing that, and that's what I love to do. I couldn't do the same thing over and over again. There's a lot of great chefs in this town, and we're really into what we do. I would love to see more of a community with the culinary side of this town come together. This is what this room is for. It's, it's a gathering space. Um, you know, we can be labeled as a bar, but we really don't want to be labeled as a bar. We're a tasting room, um, but a space for events like this. Here at the Marble Bar Aspen and down in Carbondale, uh, we want to portray the success we've had in Carbondale up here. And we can only do that locally by helping each other. So sustainability extends to this community. Our new motto is starting a conversation on conservation. Uh, we are conserving 100% of our processed water. We don't pour anything down the drain. We're sourcing 90% of our grains locally um, in this valley. And I love hearing talking about local ranchers and what they're doing. Um, and speaking of sustainability and how that expands of the community, if you start small and how that affects a community of people, it really branches out. And so I think if we start here at the core and all get on the same page, we can all help each other. I want to give a big thank you to our sponsors who came in. They loved the idea. They felt like there was a need for all of us to connect closer together. And they wanted to show their support for the community. So we have um, Caldwell Banker. We have three brokers who have come in from Caldwell Banker, Mason Moores. Another one of our sponsors is AMB Bank. I don't think they were able to make it here tonight, but they came right in. I, I didn't even have to really practically introduce myself.